Hi and welcome to Quick Tips 22 and I was asked by someone how when you're using a strategy you could make it such that if a condition is true this bar or the bar before or the bar before that then you could for example get into a trade. So what I've done is I've taken tutorial 17 which is a really simple example strategy based on the CCI and what I've done I've copied it into a program here called Q underscore QT 22 and what I'm going to do is just modify that now um, the conditions for the trade in this particular program were a bottom pivot in the CCI and then that the uh, the CCI pivot was within a specified min and max tolerance based on an input and then what we did is we said if condition one is true and condition two is true and the CCI of the slow length is greater than zero, then buy next door, next bar at market. So what I wanna do is enter a trade, if that is true, going back several bars. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is just modify the program uh, a little bit here, and uh, I'm gonna change this so that we get a condition three. So I'm gonna say condition three is equal to, and then what I'm gonna do is copy this information here, just like so. So condition three will become true when all of those things are true. It just makes it a little bit easier for us to, uh, to work on it. And uh, what we're gonna then say is if condition three, well actually let's just hold off on that for a moment because the, uh, the first part of the question is just how could we uh, create a trade based on a condition occurring back several bars? Now, we're not going to use this anymore here. So I'm just going to delete that. We're going to create a new trade part. So what I'm going to do is just say if condition three or condition three one bar ago or condition three two bars ago or condition three three bars ago. Now, we could do this programmatically. It would be a little, little more elegant, but... Uh, this case I just want to show you the probably the simplest way that you can quickly do this so if any of those conditions are true then what we're going to do is we're going to use a begin end and we're going to enter a limit trade now a little problem here is that we need to set a price now the person who asked me this question uh, said yeah I want it to be this bar last bar the bar before etc but I also want the price to be the price that occurred when condition 3 was true so we can do that and uh, simply add another little bit of syntax here and we're going to say if condition three begin end and what I'm going to do I'm going to set up later a, a variable or uh, called price okay so we're going to say uh, if condition three is true then price is equal to the close of the bar where condition three first occurred and uh, just so that we can see that a little Easy, more easily I'm going to put in a an asterisk I'm going to draw an asterisk on the chart using text underscore new and then the date the time the uh, price just set and the asterisk like so so now we can having set that price when the condition three occurs first occurs we can say at price limit like so and just so that you can uh, check that uh, the price does remain the same throughout the, the conditions. What I'm going to do is just add a little print statement here and they're going to say print, date, time, price, and the actual price, like so. So let's just verify that. Okay, we forgot to set up the, uh, the, the variable for price, so let's do that now. And just going to take, turn that into a comma, say double price set the initial value to zero and uh, semicolon let's try and verify that again okay that looks good i've already got this applied to a chart let me just check that that's the uh, the same program qt on okay and uh, if you just look down at uh, let's find a particular trade okay this one occurred on the uh, 523 8th of the 6th let's just look at our print statements and you'll see that actually this occurs uh, when condition one is uh, or rather condition three is first true but you will see that if you look at the uh, the dates you'll see that that uh, price is saved uh, please uh, feel free to ask me questions if you have any and i hope uh, this is useful for you and i will make this program 
available at no cost for uh, Goldpass members. Thank you.